Hey everyone, it's the uh, ill-mannered halfwits, Avitas, and my buddy, and my buddy. <laughs> eh. All right. My my first question is, what the hell are you doing on this video? <sighs> I mean, there are ten, there are trillions of different videos you can watch. Stop insulting the the person watching. Anyways, <laughs> this is Diablo. We're back. For now, until my computer decides I'm sorry. not to uh, uh, fuck up. Until my computer decides not to want to record Skype anymore, we have a. Uh, uh, what do we want to talk about? You were just telling me a story. Why don't you start from the beginning? Change the name of the person to protect their identity, just just in case. All right. Um. Uh, today in school, I go to um, Chicago. Yes. That. You don't yeah. even have to. Yeah, yeah. You could so, just say in school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I just want to bother you. Mm, you're doing it. You're doing a good <laughs> job of it. Yes. Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. All right, all right. So, sixth period, I have this annoying computer class. It's not not really anything. We we type all, all there is to it. So. There, there's this girl named uh, Miss Chainsmoker. Really? That's, yes. That's my kid. Okay, how about this? Her name's Cynthia. All right, that's her new name, no. Cynthia. It's no. no, we're not calling no. her. I, I hate her so much because of this. I am now naming her Miss Chainsmoker. But I made that character. I don't care. It's my, I have property rights <laughs> on that name. No, no, no. You see, your property rights went straight to hell as soon as you met me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just hurry up and tell your story. God so, damn it. Oh, fuck you. Come on. So, me and a friend of mine were talking about religion, something we we do quite often. It, it, it passes the time. Um, she all of a sudden came up and said, "You and your friends are going to hell." I asked her why. And that sparked a whole 45-minute debate. Now, I'm not going to go bit by bit, but uh, the highlights were um, every time I tried to say something about evolution or something along the lines of atheism, she said, no, no, that's not true. God did that. And about halfway through the class... I I I want to just backhand the bitch. Why, I mean, truly, I you? did. Kick her in the ovaries. No <laughs> kids for you. No babies for you. Well, the the sub may be the sub you always want to get, but he he would have stopped me. Oh. That that end. Police. Uh, yeah. He 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 actually is a former police. Then there's also the uh, feminist for you kicking a woman in her vagina. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it, it's not really worth it in the end. I mean, truly. Hey, if you can get it on, if you get it on video, we could put it up. I, I'll, I'll try next time. You heard that, everybody? He'll do it. He'll fucking do it. Yeah, he ain't got no yeah. shame. Should have seen what he did for a Klondike bar last week. <laughs> oh man, I never hey. seen him blow so many hey. guys in my life. <laughs> hey, I don't like Klondike bars. <laughs> It was a Hershey bar. Okay, well, okay. All right. Uh, for a Hershey bar, he certainly did suck a lot of dick for that. How many? 20? All at once, too. 30. Th- 30, shit. Miscounted. That's 30 dicks. <laughs> that's that's right. 60 sets of balls. <laughs> <laughs> Just all up in his face. Well, congratulations. You can do math, dipshit. Uh, I, why are you so mean to me while we're recording? <laughs> Why can't uh, you ever uh, just uh, like not be mean to me? You're you're so nice to me when we're not recording you. No, I'm not. You, you always like say how no, pretty I am no, and, and how no. much you like. You know what? I'm finishing my story. <laughs> so shut the fuck up. Go. So I I asked her why she believed these things, and all she told me was she had personal experiences with God. Mm, I have personal experiences with him all the time. <laughs> Uh, I usually stick a cross up my ass as an as an anal dildo. No, I don't. Kids, don't do that at home. <laughs> That'll probably scar up your ass and give you splinters. Don't ever do that. But if you do, 
Use lube. Record it. Use lube. <laughs> don't even record that. You don't want anyone to know you did that. Record it and send it to a uh, to a church. <laughs> no, no, no. Get like a projector and have it play the video on like on like a wall or something. This is what I think church. of your religion. <laughs> uh, all right, so I, I was getting rather annoyed that she all she was saying was uh, she had personal experiences, but she wasn't sharing any of them. Finally, I got her to share one said experience that kind of caught my uh, interest. She said she was in Africa praying for hours upon hours her and her uh, priest. Please save this black lady. Please. Yes, uh, this black lady was there who uh, apparently she was missing a leg from the knee down. It, it already uh, formed a little nub. You know, I, I know from first-hand experience that if you get hit with one of those nubs, it hurts like hell. Okay, all right. C- continue on with, that, Sorry. with what happens. Sorry. Sorry. But um, she said after X amount of hours of her and her preacher or father, whatever the hell he is, praying that finally this this black lady uh, miraculously grew her leg back. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but it is physically impossible to grow a limb in five hours. Well, it's impossible to generally grow a limb back in any hours, really. Well, well, uh, I mean, not just humans, but all species. I mean, starfish can grow limbs back, can't they? Yeah, actually, uh, I think there's like some scientists, or there were some scientists that did research on that to see if they could somehow make it for, like... Yes, and they made it into a movie. Yeah, okay, that must... And that's how we got the Hulk. <laughs> Woo! Anyways, um... Yeah! <laughs> yeah, so that whole that whole story just kind of says that if you're a creationist, you are about as intelligent well, as the sack of bricks that are on a construction site that I personally pissed on. So, to that lady, let me tell you now that you are an idiot... And that even though I think you're an idiot, I would love to ha- rec- like have you on this, uh, th- let's call it a show, on this show, so we could have a full discussion. I'll do my best to be not so offensive towards you. No, you I, won't. I will, try, I will try to maintain some, some, uh, no, some civil won't. conversation. But, um, no, you won't. But essentially, you, there... You're you're stupid for saying that. I prayed for five hours. Please save this black nigga. You know, <laughs> that's probably exactly what she thought too. Is she white? Yeah. Yeah. It, that's probably exactly what she thought too. And it's probably <laughs> she was probably going like, "Please save my future slave." You know that that's just it. You know, one of the things that made me want to laugh the most is. She said she had no capability of hate in her soul. Oh, that's bullshit. Yeah, because when I first told her I was an atheist, that I knew people that were atheists, that you were a Pastafarian for that Pastafarian matter. Pastafarian atheist, oddly enough. Love that. <laughs> that that you also a started reverend. a cult that every Friday you came, went to it wearing a pasta strainer as a hat. That, that's not a cult. That's an actual religion. Get it right. Everyone. Oh, no, Pastafarian no, no is a real religion. In your religion. case, it's a cult. It, no, it's only a cult <laughs> if we start, like, you know, killing goats and shit. That's that's not happening uh, yet. <laughs> um, but, exactly. But it means that... Look, look, look. If, if you want to be a Pastafarian, generally, just don't be a dick. Everyone deserves equal rights. It's freedom. Any pasta. Any pasta. It's freedom of religion and freedom from religion. If you don't want to believe in anything, hey, go ahead. I'm an atheist and still a Pastafarian. But to me, Pastafarian... Amen. Amen. Um, to me, being a Pastafarian means just... It's like a banner. It's like, you know, like how kings have those banners and people will march to war under those banners. It's not like they're actually I'm part of the... I'm not marching to war for you. Huh? I'm not marching to war for you. No, I don't want you to. Pastafarianism don't. There, it's a peaceful religion, dude. 
It's peaceful, man. All we got, all we want to yeah, do is just eat some pasta. It, 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 its main followers are pirates. Pirates are his chosen people. <laughs> <laughs> Whose chosen people? Why the flying spaghetti monster, of course. May his newly yeah. appendage touch you inappropriately. Because we all want that. Anyways. <laughs> so, um... I, uh... Seriously, I think that, that that woman you're talking about is... is A bitch. Dumb. And incapable of hate. Bullshit. Yeah, when I told her all these things, you could just see that... Her calculating had to kill me. Wait, her it, it, what? It was hilarious. What? She was calculating how to kill you? Like, I, I remember hearing her once say that everyone who does not believe in God should die. Uh, okay. I, I love that. Yes. I love that double standard. It's like, yeah, God is all about peace and love, and he just wants everybody to go to heaven and spend time with him. But then it's like, if you don't believe him, it's like, God wants you to burn in hell. He wants you to die. He's going to have you in hell to be tortured and burned and stabbed and raped and everything. But never, ever forget, yeah, they have good he movies. loves you. And it's just like, okay, wow, I don't need that kind of love. That's like a sadistic girlfriend. You know, it's like it's like that girlfriend that, like, when, it, when it's uh, sex night, she's, she's bringing out the chain whip. Not just a normal whip. No, 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 no. A chain whip with spikes. And and are you referring to the incident I told you about? Um possibly. Actually, I was just making this up uh, making this up as I go along, but sure, if you wanted to reference something, go ahead. Uh just, just the way you were talking kind of reminded me of uh what I walked in on uh a few oh, weeks back. Oh, wait. You mean the thing with yeah. the guy? Hey, yeah. Oh, right. Um I'm sorry for bringing that back up, man. <laughs> Did it's a. It, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do I'll, that. I'll be fine. Okay. I'll, I'll be fine. All right. The vodka's in the back. <laughs> um. So yeah. Anything else that that we should uh, bring up? Oh, I'm a reverend. Um, uh, let me say that again. Yes, <laughs> yes. He he is a reverend. No, you probably. Uh, someone just ended a call with me. I was gonna go back to him later. Oh well. Um, yeah, I'm a reverend of the Pastafarians, you know, Flying Spaghetti Monster Church. Uh, if anyone wants to become part of my flock, let me know. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel! <laughs> and you will become part of my flock. And all you uh, have to do <laughs> is just not be a dick. That's it. That's the only real requirement. Alright, if they just subscribe to this channel, that's... I have seven subscribers. Well, we have seven subscribers. I'm pretty sure every one of those guys and girls, if if you're out there, I'm pretty sure Send every single nudes. one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and and Diablo wants nudes of the guys. <sighs> First of all, fuck you. <laughs> Do it. Second of all, I'm pretty sure every single one of the, those seven people are douchebags. In some way, shape, or well, we're form. we're all douchebags, but it's like it's like to the extent, man. Remember, we're all ill-mannered halfwits. We are all... Everyone on this planet is ill-mannered, and they're all halfwits. No matter... I don't care how amazing you are as a person. Do, Mr. Rogers from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood is the only person who's not an ill-mannered halfwit. He was a fucking amazing person, and if anyone says anything different, I kick him in the balls. Or ovaries. I just do it. He was a bitch. You piece of shit. Bring it! You wanna go? Yeah, let's go! Can you buy me a plane ticket? <laughs> okay. Okay, well, well, we'll take care of all that off off the air. Um, yeah. By the way, you're flying coach. I don't give a shit. I'll be happy to just go flying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if it's like a fucking paper mache plane. <laughs> I'll do it. Fuck it. <laughs> you only live once... Unless you're me, because you live a thousand times a day. Mainly because of the fact that a part of you dies every second. Oh, I'm so sad now. Oh, man. Any... Uh, okay, um... 
Well, I believe this has been very successful. Yeah, just describe successful real quick. What's what's your definition? Got our point across. We had a point. <laughs> we had a fucking point. When did this happen? <laughs> uh, uh, I I just thought. No, 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 no. That's uh, your first. That's your first mistake. You never think. What the well, fuck? You know wrong what? With you? How about we end it with this? We hate you all. We hate religion. And I like pie. All right. Well, there's his segment. Mine one. Is, mine is. Yeah. Fuck you all. Fuck your pie. And have a nice fucking day. Hey. 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 Don't diss the pie. Eh, fuck your pie. <laughs>